Kristen from the Married Morning Show. Nick and Kristen from 99.5 The Wolf joining us live right now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I guess we're going to pass go and collect $200. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say happy National Board Game Day. Great day to roll out some new news about a Monopoly movie. Yeah, uh, I don't know how they're going to do this, but we all knew that when Barbie was a success that they were going to start looking at action figures and old toys from the old, like, back of the day and now board games they're going to make movies out of. So the next one is the Monopoly movie, and it's actually starring Margot Kidder. Margot, not Margot Kidder. Margot Margo Robbie. Robbie. Uh, from Barbie. Yeah, so Margot Robbie's going to be producing it. She's going to be starring in it as, as well as Hasbro, which is the maker of the board game. Now, Barbie, Mattel also produced that movie, and they kind of were hands off. So we'll see what Hasbro like has in mind for their intellectual property. What huh. What is this going to be about? Is it going to be like Barbie-like where it's you're coming up with your own script within like a monopoly world or is this about are, are we monopoly? like jumanjiing into <laughs> yeah, monopoly yeah. here yeah there's like two different scenarios that i'm imagining one i'd really like to see and the other one please don't do <laughs> like uh I, if they make it like you remember the movie clue yeah if they make it like clue where they know it's a joke and they're like all having fun with it that could be cool but i I would hope that they go to the McDonald's route where they did like the founder, where they give me the story of how Monopoly was made because the story of how Monopoly became famous and popular is fascinating. I don't know that I, I'm I, too familiar. I don't know if I know it either. So the Monopoly actually was created by a woman. She made it as kind of a political uh, statement about the world at the time, about how everybody was greedy and how co corporations were greedy. And then the Hasbro company came in, bought it from her basically for $50, then went on to mass produce it and make billions of dollars. Oh and she gosh. wanted a cut. She wanted her name back on it. They completely shut her out. Oh. So if that's the person that Margot Robbie's going to be playing like that could actually be really interesting yeah but if they try to go the light-hearted fun route i don't know who's going to play mr monopoly but i'd be curious to see dibs yeah <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm like i'm thinking of two different scenarios it would be interesting i don't know there could be an entertaining way to have a magical game where like everything you do in the game actually happens in the real world yeah. you know but i think it'd be really interesting to have an actual you know, movie that, it, that is the untold story of right. how Monopoly came to be. Yeah, I think be really cool. And I think Margot Robbie would be like another, you know, she's Barbie, who's the icon, and then another icon right. here that would, you know, the creator yeah. of Monopoly. Yeah, why Conti not? And, and Monopoly her go. reign as a feminist queen, you know, yeah, exactly. In the spotlight. Yeah, back in the day when Monopoly was made, women weren't people, if I remember correctly. Right. So now <laughs> they are, so they can make mm -hmm. movies about it. Yeah, yeah we couldn't even <laughs> have people. We couldn't Progress. even have our own money. A man had to hold it for us. Our little Way to lady go, you ladies. Hang on to it. you ladies. Yeah. Way to go. Oh man, this is we've come a long way. We have. <laughs> we have. Let's oh, go, girls. Still going strong. Still going strong. Well, it'll be uh, fascinating to see how this how this movie takes shape. I, I'm curious. Either way, I'm, I'm curious yeah. how, how this goes. Kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, they could go the super cheesy or the super meaningful. Obviously, I hope they go meaningful. But if they go with super cheesy, maybe it's fun, too. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And real quick, what's your Monopoly piece? What's your go-to oh, yeah. piece? What's funny? We talked Scotty about this dog, earlier always, today. Always. The little, the little dog. Yeah. I, I went uh, pretty traditional. Typically, the top hat. Every once in a while, the wheelbarrow. But typically, oh, the top hat. Where are you guys going? I was the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think I was always the top hat, too, Travis. Yeah. I yeah. think that was always my go-to. We had okay. a couple of thimbles in the background here. A lot of people really like the thimble, thimble piece. But yeah. uh, if we all sit down for Monopoly game, you guys are going to have to, like, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, that's true. For the top yeah, hat. Who we'll can flip the board over first? I'll be the thimble. <laughs> oh, I'll, yep. the game will end with me flipping the table. I can almost guarantee <laughs> yeah. that. It won't I can end, see that. It won't end because you'll get mad actually. halfway through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, guys. Thanks, you guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. For more trending topics, you can always hang with Nick and Kristen weekday mornings on 99.5 The Wolf.